driving Ivan here and I usually do car reviews but today I'm doing peace and love and little donuts reviews mmm these are really good I got the plain and I got the chocolate frosted right out of the fryer basically and uh, you can get all sorts of crazy flavors maple bacon they said was their favorite and also some Samoa type that tastes like a Samoa Girl Scout cookie but um, they have like probably about 20 different flavors maybe more anyway so growing up with Krispy Kreme these are different it's a more solid foundation they taste more this is the cake donut so it is quite cakey. In fact, the girl in front of me got a birthday cake one. I bet that would have been really good. But this is awesome. And they're small too, which means insane calories, but at least a small size. Just the right amount of sweetness. They're not overly sweet. Mmm, 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 mmm. Okay. Haven't had this one yet. Mmm, chocolate frosted. Oh yeah. It makes awesome even better. I was trying to go to Pamela's to get their pancakes. They're apparently world famous, but there was a line out the door and it's raining, so I figured What's the next best thing? And this was on my list to eat, so here we go. Yum. Peace and love and little donuts. I highly recommend it. O'Leary's is the type of place on Carson Street in Pittsburgh here, south side, that it's just so rare to find these days in many cities in America. Cheap breakfast is really something of the past. It's all about brunch, kind of shishi new upscale places. But this is like a down home, old school breakfast at a very fair price. Home fries are amazing. Eggs are great. Pancakes are great. They even had mixed fruit jelly, which I'm a big fan of. So good stuff right here in Southside, East Carson, Pittsburgh, PA. Home of the Rave Ups. And of course, apparently some sports teams that I won't mention. Now in terms of coffee in Pittsburgh, I seem to remember there was a chain called the Beehive, but I'm probably dating myself. That was way, way, way back in the day. Nowadays, Crazy Mocha seems to be all over the place. And I just got an iced mocha at Crazy Mocha. But not just a simple iced mocha. Mmm. One of the best iced mochas I've ever had, actually. I just had them add cinnamon, and it's quite tasty. Mmm. So crazy mocha. They're all over the place here in Pittsburgh, and quite yummy. Well, I'm at Tesoro's in Pittsburgh, and they're supposed to have the best burger. A local told me that, so I'm going to find out. But I'm going to start with seafood chowder. My favorite chowder is at the fish market in Old Town, Alexandria. But i got to say, this stuff is quite good. It's salty but very, very yummy. Mmm. Can't wait to try the burger after this. Mmm. They even give you the best crackers, too. And here it is. Looks quite good. Very thick. Cooked right. I ordered it medium. And, uh, garnishes on the side. Let's see how it is. I'd like to try them plain first you get the best flavor representation that way. We're supposed to cook these over all sorts of wood smoke and nice sort of spices and that sort of thing. Let's see how it is. Mm. Mm. That is a very good burger. It's got a lot of flavor. juicy. You don't need anything on it. Mm. 
yes to Sara's Burgers. Believe the hype. So here I am in front of Betsy's Ice Cream in Lebanon, Pennsylvania, also Pittsburgh. And uh, this is really good. It's two scoops Sunday with um, what they call Philadelphia's Pride, which is a conglomerate of all sorts of yummy uh, sort of ice cream and like a cream, custard cream base. And then Italian Stallion, which is some sort of coffee surprise. And had them put hot fudge and marshmallow on it as well. And uh, it was only $4.50. That seems like a steal to me. It's a big Sunday. There's lots of toppings on it. I didn't get the whipped cream nuts and cherry. Oh well. But anyway, it looks good and I've tried the ice cream already, so let's see how it is. Okay, here we go, down the hatch. Mm. That is so good, I can't even explain it. The combination of Italian stallion and Philadelphia's pride with hot fudge and marshmallow. Oh my god. Definitely a standout for this trip so far. Good stuff. There you go. Thanks for watching. I'm Ivan Katz. Don't forget to check out all my other videos, some food videos from this trip, and my Kia Forte review for Driving Ivan, which I'm doing on this trip here. And of course, my disc golf videos and music videos as well. I have documentaries and a short film and a literal video too. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter and Instagram, and of course, Facebook, and subscribe to me on YouTube. Bye.